having good days? Is it a good day or is it a so-so day or is it a, a bad day or is it a... I don't even want to get out of bed day. I apologize in advance because I was really determined yesterday to reclaim my honor and fight the spider. But I don't know. I don't know if I have it in me today. I just, my fighting spirit is very low. I, uh, I'm, I'm still pretty sick and I'm like, my brain is really foggy and I don't think I have like what it takes to have ultra fast epic gaming reflexes right now and be able to like pay attention to a game at all. So I'm gonna just like <laughs> do what I usually do when I don't feel like playing games and just <laughs> watch, watch the, J the Japan walking videos from that Ram Black channel and just like talk about stuff cause <sighs> it'll, it'll be a short stream too. It's not gonna be longer than two hours and if I go longer than two hours, please yell at me cause I'm not supposed to stream long. I, I was advised by people who know what they're talking about and have my best interests in mind that I shouldn't push myself when I'm very sick. And uh, even though the stream is going to be pretty short, uh, I'm going to be playing Dark Souls with Mousy later. Hopefully, I'll have my, my stamina back by then because I don't want to let her down. Because I told her... Uh, that she could summon me and I could help her in Dark Souls with a bunch of stuff. Cause... <laughs> it, it's fun. It's, I really like helping people in Dark Souls. Uh, I'm not the best at the game. I've played it like a lot of times. Like all the way through. I've streamed it a lot. So I, I at least know kind of what I'm doing in the first like... Most of the first few areas? She, she's gonna have to be on her own in like the crystal caves or whatever though. Fuck that. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if she'll like the game enough to want to play that far because it's really an acquired taste. But I love it so much. So I was really excited when she offered to like <laughs> have me play with her. I was really happy. What up? Uh, uh, what's, what's up, dog? <laughs> Wait, I got that backwards. Uh, I, I woke up feeling kind of poopy. Just full disclosure. Well, no, I didn't, I didn't wake up feeling like, like, like fecal matter. <laughs> that, that, <laughs> that wouldn't be good if I woke up feeling like fecal matter. I woke up and just, uh... I had a dream that I went to a big anime convention. And I had a lot of fun. And like, I found like a really cute, like, stuffed animal that I bought. It was like a... <laughs> uh, it was like a, a cute, like, anime mascot thing or something. But I really wanted it, so I bought it. And then I was walking around in the convention and I realized... Oh my god, I'm not wearing a mask! And I looked around and saw like nobody else is wearing masks. But then I was like, wait, this has to be a dream! If, if, if it's like this... And then I woke up, and I felt really empty and sad. <laughs> uh, man... That seems like a- oh my god! That seems like a- a- a, a dream that a lot of people are having. Oh god! Ah! Thank you! Sleep, sleepy coffee, thank you so much! Thank you! 25 subs, thank you so much! It's really nice of you! Thank you! Thank you so, so much! <laughs> sleepy coffee? That seems like an oxymoron. So, I have with me a tea. A particular, a particular type of tea I have in my hands right now. In a small, compostable cup. 
with like a little lid on top of it so it stays hot. Um, it's a lemon echinacea. It's a lemon echinacea uh, throat coat tea with extra lemon to help my throat recover and to help my whole just like cold situation. Thank you, Corvid Senpai. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Do I like trees? I love trees. I used to live in a place with not very many trees and it was kind of depressing to look around and just not really see any kind of greenery for miles and miles. Just like a bunch of flat land and farmland and no trees. Throat goat. Throat, throat goat tea. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Let's uh. Meow, 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 meow. Let's uh get the show a rolling. A roll, rolling, 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 rolling. Wait, I can't, I can't decide like <laughs> how to orient myself. I just, I feel so awkward. Like why? What am I? Uh, why, why am I here? What? What's going on? Ah! Okay, I have three choices for you. Here, I'll make a. Here, keep the music on. It's awkward without music. Keep the music. I accidentally almost typed raid. I was. <laughs> That'd be so funny. I start the stream like uh, ten minutes later. I accidentally raid. So <laughs> See ya, everybody. So, I have three walking videos from Rambolak. There is Hot Spring Town, Akihabara, and the Heavy Rain Backstreets of Japan at Night video that we kind of started the other day. So let me put the choices in you. In you. <laughs> what? <laughs> let me put the choices in you. Uh, which video for... Which video do you start with? I'm gonna put all the choices in you! A uh, hot spring town? Akihabara? And... Japan? Back streets? Green? Okay. Paul will run for one minute! Fight to the death now! I don't know if there will, there will be any cosplay ladies in Akihabara. Oh, thank you, Ajax, for gifting that sub. Thank you. I hope the, the person you gifted it to enjoys it. I also want to take more personality quizzes, because last time I didn't get to take many. I got so hung up on one of them for being so weird that I just... I didn't get to do everything that I wanted to do. I have like a... I have a list. Like, I wanna... I wanna take the, the silly MBTI one. And I wanna take like... How much of a psychopath are you? <laughs> <laughs> ah. I also... There's a lot I wanna do today and I don't know if I can cram it all into two hours. But I wanna do more AI dungeon, like a solo AI dungeon. Cause that would be fun. Akihabara? Okay, let's go. Let's go to Akihabara. Sorry, I'm <laughs> I can't stop sitting in a stupid way in my chair. I'm sorry. Oh window capture, window capture. I keep sitting in that way where you like tuck your legs under you. And it's not a good way to sit. Oh! It's a train station. Wait, is that like a... <coughs> skincare routine? Wait, it's Dragon Quest! Did you see the, 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 the slimes? Ah. What? What the... <laughs> Shit on the concrete. <laughs> no. Aww. I wonder if like did the 
kid like started crying and he like got he like went to go help him or something that's my that's my head cannon oh. what music is that is this around christmas time it doesn't seem like it because there's people walking in kind of like loose light clothing <gasps> he's going by the dragon quest store or is it it's just like a big ad on a regular store look is that dragon quest 11 the slimes Dra dragon crust <gasps> sega that looks just like the the the, 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 the thing from the yakuza the like sega arcade look oh sonic is there idols are there Is Akiba Strip really about stripping? Cause I thought... I thought like strip as in strip mall, like a strip of land. Is it also a pun? Like is there a character named Akiba and this is his trip? Akiba's trip? Alright, you have to point out... How many anime pictures you recognize? Wait, is that a vibrator? What are those? Pablo. I would be so overwhelmed by like all the flashy lights and signs and stuff if I was here. Oh, it's Evangelion! There's Asuka, right? And Madoka? Who? Is that the girl from... Yeah, that's Gamers. It says on the sign. Gamers! Remember that show? That show kind of fell off the face of the earth. Bang Dream! I heard that's cute. It's like a phone game, right? I'm kind of behind on the times. Also, this video... I think this video is like two years old. So you might not see anything... Like any recent anime. <laughs> Thank you, Cap, Cap, Captain Obvious 2000. Akiba Strip Club. Sign, sign me up for that. Javi. I hear idol music, like uh, idol game music. Ah, <laughs> uh, I'm all right. I, I could be better. I don't know. Wait, is that a drugstore? Next to the Sega? I'm sorry. It's so hard to drink this tea without making a disgusting slurp noise. I guess I could just take the top off of it. I'm sorry. I got... John Wick 2?! My brain got like hijacked. By the music, I was like, oh, cute, cute girl music? Yeah, I saw a maid handing out, like, flyers or something. Maybe it was for a maid cafe? Or, like, a general cosplay cafe? John Wick 2, 7-7, seven, seven. when did John Wick 2 come out? You can date this video by just looking at the signs. There's a karaoke place. I wish I could do karaoke. Uh... <sighs> oh, that's so cute! The little... The little big plush squishy thing. Oh yeah, the... The thing that I got in the dream. The, the, the plush toy that I got in the dream was a really big squishy thing like that. And I was so excited to take it home, and then I woke up and it wasn't real. None of it was real. I was so sad. It's Rem. Do you want the... the Rem shirt? I can go buy it for you. <laughs> is it true? Like, is this still true to Japan, like, right now? But I heard that... <gasps> Hi! <laughs> it felt 
it looks she was waving at me and I like my heart started beating so fast. Is this still true to Japan today though? I'm like I'm wondering because I heard that you should just carry cash around. Cause like no one takes cards. It's very rare for them to take like credit cards or debit cards. That seems so scary to carry around like a lot of cash. Oh, thank you, I'm Cleo. I'm so sorry to hear about your canceled Japan vacation. That's so painful. I really feel you. I was gonna... I was gonna go to FanFest last year in November. And that got canceled, obviously. Ah, one day, one day, it'll be okay. Thank you. Wait, why does he have an Italian flag? Mamma mia! This... this looks familiar. Oh, there's a Mexican flag! <laughs> I'm sorry! <laughs> My brain... My brain is messed up today. I'm, I'm on cold medicine, you have to forgive me. But also, in the... When we were playing Rust together, there was a... <laughs> there was a Mexican flag up on a, a poster or something. And they kept saying it was like the wrong country. And one of, some, one of us said it was an Italian flag. And I think that's been like cemented into my brain forever. Oh, I want to get on that, that, that light rail. That's a light rail train, right? Like a monorail style? <sighs> I would be so scared to cross the street. I like riding uh, monorails, they're fun. Aww. <laughs> Does anyone else think it's really cute? This is kind of creepy of me and I apologize, but when you see like a really old couple, like a, like a senior citizen couple, and they're just walking and like holding hands. <laughs> Does anyone else think that's so sweet? Like. Just thinking, like, <laughs> I wonder how long they've been together, and it's <laughs> it's so sweet that they're still holding hands even when they're that old. <laughs> like, they <laughs> they still hold hands when they walk. They must love each other so much. Like, that's all I can think about, and I feel so creepy for thinking it. <laughs> I can't help it, though. And then I get really bitter. Ah. That's a strange looking bus. It's like a, a shortened bus. It looks like it's been cut in half. Oh, I kind of want to play that desert bus game, but I don't know if I could survive streaming for eight hours straight without like... peeing or anything. Can you... You can't pause the game, right? I don't... It doesn't seem like you can. I would have to... I couldn't drink anything while playing it. My, my throat would get so dry from talking and not having any hydration. To make the 8 hour trip anyway exciting at all. But if I drink something, even a little bit to wet my whistle, I'm gonna end up having to pee at some point. What do I do? Grab... Grab some bottles, what will I do? Like, you'll know that I'm doing it. I can't... I can't... 
I can't like physically like go get up and go to the bathroom. I have to leave the game running. I'll just like I'll be like, oh sorry guys, hold on a second and mute my mic for like two minutes. And you'll know. You'll know what I'm doing. I don't want you to know. I have to come up with some other excuse. Like, oh, hold on, I have to mute because uh, my mom is calling. I really want to try out those Dyson uh, blow dryers. Is that <gasps> Square Enix Company? I wish you would go inside. I know most of this channel is him just walking around on the street, but I always wish that there's a video. Where he like goes inside several places and like checks stuff out. Are those boobas? Like literally, are those boobas? Look, I'm not. Don't those look like boobas? You remember boobas, right? Look, like I'm not the sign down here. I really want to go to the Square Enix Cafe. Jack and the Donuts. Jack in the Donuts! Jack in the Donuts, Donuts and Big Wise Cafe! That looks like it smells so good! Milky Bun! I wanna like go up there and just smell. Smelling is free, right? That's what I say before I bend down and sniff the seat of a girl who just got up. Thank you, Pep! <laughs> Thank you, Pepsi Chan Dyson P Extractor. <laughs> that that would be good. Yeah, I could just hook it up and like, I wouldn't even have to mute my mic. I I could just say that it's my uh electrical interference device turning on. Yuzu, is that takoyaki? Croissant taiyaki. <gasps> oh, I can smell it. Oh, I want, I want taiyaki. I want a hot, fresh taiyaki. Oh, look, it's Mario. Nintendo Switch. I could never do a job like that where you have to like stand and like be ignored by people who are just like feeling really awkward and not wanting to talk to you. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. I, I already have that job. <laughs> but like standing in the middle of the street with like a microphone to try to like advertise something and get people's attention. Like those like a uh, internet representative representatives that you run into at the store. That are like, hey, well, who's your internet service provider? And I feel so bad because like, it's so annoying, but I feel bad because it's just, it's just their job. But I don't, I don't want to speak to anyone when I'm like, out and about or go going to the store. I don't want people to perceive me. So when someone calls out to me like that, it's like, you've destroyed my illusion. Ah, I'm being perceived right now. It's okay. It's okay if I'm perceived by you. Ah, uh, this channel is called Ramblelack. Even if you, I think even if you spell it wrong on YouTube, it'll probably what the fuck is that? <laughs> it'll probably redirect you to the right channel. So, yeah, Ramblelack. But what the? F Hey, what the fuck? <laughs> Is this British food? Oh, I can't wait to go to my Brit British pub. Have a spot of a hot dog. Is he putting... What is he putting on his head? Big echo. <laughs> I I really wanna. No one's like gonna be able to appreciate this joke. But if I ever go to Japan and I'm walking around and I like, I just wanna say out loud like every five seconds, 
Wow, this is giving me major Yakuza game vibes. <laughs> like, like at every street corner. It's like that video of like a random, just like normal jazz music playing and it's like, wow, this is really giving me Persona vibes. Ah. Whoa! That person has like LEDs on the underside of their motorcycle. Motorcycles are scary. I kind of like... I normally don't really like telling people like what to do with their life because I think like as long as you're not hurting anybody and you're happy then like go ahead you be you but this is a hill that I will always die on I think motorcycles are really cool in theory and like media I think they're awesome and like hearing that like revving up noise and it's, it's great but, in real life, I think motorcycles shouldn't exist. <laughs> they're too... They're too unsafe! They're way too unsafe. Every time I'm out driving and there's someone... There's... I see so many people on motorcycles without helmets. Oh, it's Goku! <laughs> so many people! And it makes me so fucking nervous. Even when they have a helmet on. And like, I get behind or in front of someone who's on a motorcycle, I just... I'm white knuckling it the whole way, pouring sweat, like, please god, please don't run into me, because you will die. Cars have like a whole... a whole metal body to protect you, but motorcycles, you're like... Mo your entire body is exposed. Uh, I have known family members that have gotten into motorcycle accident. <laughs> Sorry, I had a hiccup. Motorcycle accidents, and they're not pretty. I think they're extremely cool. And I know, I know people want to like ride them because it makes them look like a badass. It makes you look so cool. But is it worth it if you, <laughs> if you could die really, really horribly? I guess maybe so. Godzilla! Oh. I also saw... I don't know if anyone else saw it, but I was talking and I saw a uh, Sailor Moon wand. Oh. Akiba showroom. Oh, they... Thank you, Electric Pickle! One hour and thirty minutes remains. Remember to wear a helmet when riding a motorcycle. Yes! In practice, so much caution! So, so much. I guess... I guess live... like... Living cool and dying cool. That's... that's what everybody wants, right? So maybe I shouldn't take that from them, but... Please! <laughs> You know what would be good? If they just had, like, <laughs> designated areas for motorcycle drivers only. Like, you- you go be cool somewhere else so that I don't- I, like... <laughs> so you don't accidentally collide with my vehicle and then... ...cause me extreme grief and trauma for the rest of my life. <laughs> There's a Godzilla creepypasta? How could you ever make Godzilla creepy? Godzilla is just like a... Big, lovable oath. Godzilla is... King. <laughs> Diesel... No, Diesel Sparks, please be careful! Please be careful on the road. Hey, look, that says own a hole. Did you see that? Own a hole. You can own a hole. Thank you. I think no matter how hard anyone tries, I'll never think Godzilla is creepy. Cause Godzilla is just inherently a big, lovable softy. Godzilla could be breaking like into my house with its giant maw and claws and devour me in one big bite. 
killing me instantly. And my last thought before I die would just be like... <laughs> wow, Gozo is such a cutie. <laughs> what a big lovable oaf. Oh yeah, I should probably take one of those tests to tell you what, like, D&D alignment you are. Instead of astrology, why don't we live by that? Oh, you're a chaotic neutral, huh? That explains a lot. Is that a Toho girl? I'm kind of nervous about helping Mousy with Dark Souls tonight. I don't... I'm scared. I don't want to... I don't want to look cringe! I want to be like her white knight. And come in and save the day and help her with a lot. But I feel like I'm just gonna mess up a lot and she's just gonna be like... Uh, I'd be better off on my own. <laughs> scammed out of all of my money. <coughs> oh! Oh! Thank you, Cure Neck Beard. Akiba's trip is actually about going on a nice shopping trip set in a faithful recreation of Akihabara. You fight vampires who are weak to sunlight, but normal clothes are enough to protect them, so you fight them by pulling off their clothes. <laughs> I mean, I guess it makes sense. You gotta fight those vampires, no matter what. Even if it... Even if it gets a little perverted and sexual. <laughs> Man, this game is so sexual. I hear the I hear the cute music again, I'm sorry. You want a burger? I don't know where to find a burger here. There's a maid. I think he's looping around on the same street. I've heard this song before. Is this... What? That's either from Love Live or... Idol Master. I don't know. They all uh, kind of have <laughs> the same style of music, so it's hard. Take on which VTuber are you personally quiz? <laughs> no, that's gonna that's gonna give me like a existential crisis. I wonder, has anyone ever made like a which V shoujo are you? I wonder which one I would get. It's really funny seeing like people's interpretations of like your personality. Especially when they get it completely wrong and they think that you like thin crust pizza. Soft demand. Huh? <laughs> I just I wanna go inside so bad. But he won't let me inside. I'm clawing at the door with my little paws. And whimpering. Please, please let us in. Asagi Teikoku. Doesn't, does that mean? Rabbit, rabbit empire? Elite group. Pachinko is such a weird phenomenon. I mean, it's not weird, it's like, of course people want to gamble. <laughs> but it's weird how it's like, there's, 
There's an anti-gambling law in Japan, but they got around it with like a loophole. By saying like, you're not actually gambling your money, you're gambling the, the tokens. Like at Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> Is that a maid cafe? Maid Dreamin'! Somebody in the chat mentioned that. Maid Dreamin'. Korobukiya. I've been to one of those stores before. But not in Japan, because I've never left the country. They're a really nice bookstore. They have like anime merch and light novels and manga. They have regular books too, like textbooks and stuff, magazines. Wait, how do you say Chuck E. Cheese? Chuck E. Cheese? Chucky. I'm Chucky. <gasps> it's Final Fantasy XIV! It's the, the Heavensward final boss music. Do you hear it? Now it's different. It's like a... I think it's a, a raid music. Chucky Cheese! There was a Chuck E. Cheese map in VR chat, and I thought maybe it would be fun to go there. It's kind of, uh... Kind of scuffed, though. <laughs> but yeah. Where... Where did they just go? Well... There's so many fashionable people here. I'm... Like... Entranced. People can just look so effortlessly fashionable. Oh, speaking of fashionable, I'm getting a new outfit and I showed uh, supporters it. I've given them sneak peeks. Uh, Twitch subs and stuff. But, uh, uh. Uh, uh, uh. It's basically like a magical girl idol. Villain outfit. <laughs> That's basically how I can sum it up. It's like a, a... A magical girl villain who is also an idol. It looks... It looks very devious. But also very idly. I wanted to get it to use for like singing streams and stuff cause... Once I'm over this cold, I want to just sing a lot, because I haven't been able to sing in so long. That looked like... Snow White. Yeah, I like this outfit too. I said I was only going to wear it for like winter, but I feel like I'm going to just like... Wear it whenever, because... <laughs> it's just so cute and it, it fits my style a lot. I love the fluffy part. Mouse. I gotta have a fluffy part. And the hat. <laughs> it's really cute. I also love the... The, like, buttons on the top. I mean, the chest. Top chest. Mm. I'll still wear my, uh, like, casual outfit. Just when I feel up to it. So if it's comfy though. <laughs> Man, I really want to get like a, a sword cane staff that casts magic spells. I'm going to hurt you with spells. This is Takai. It's like a electronic store. No, I mean a sword cane that I can have in my... on stream. Street Fighter 2. Oh! Ah. Thank, thank you! Thank you, Seba, for those bits. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Reaper Mink and Tolrath. I wanna have, like, 
like, uh... Super Smash Bros. recolors of myself. Then I can just play with myself all the time. I can just have, like... <laughs> all, all my clones in, like, different colors up on the screen and just... Yeah. <coughs> oh, someone is zooming off. I hear a zoomer. Wait, I wanna, I wanna take personality tests. Hold on. I, <laughs> I have to like pause the video and go find one. Ow. Ow. Yeah, I have to separate... Separate the yolks. <laughs> Where... Um... MBTI personality test. This will be fun. Wait, which one should I do first? The D&D &D alignment? Or the... <laughs> How much <I> was <laughs> That one seems like it could be bad. Like, it could have some bad questions on it. Wait, what is the one? There's like a really good, uh... Oh, I found it. Never mind. Oh, <coughs> wow. Oh yeah, what retuber are you? Uh, uh, it's all it's all hollow life though. I'm scared. I don't want to like insult anybody by like being associated with them in any way. <laughs> Look, if I get any like any hollow life member, I'm gonna be like, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't... I don't want to, like, taint you by association. Ah, <laughs> uh, Someone... Someone get on making a Rishojo member quiz. I d <laughs> I have to, I really have to delete my history, oh my god. Uh, a bunch of bad stuff came up. Um... What is your VTuber persona? What's all I've grown like? <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, okay. Um. Okay, I I apologize in advance for this quiz. Let's see. Um quiz. Welcome to the Hololive quiz. This quiz will determine which VTuber from Hololive you should watch. Wait! No. No, this is... Which one should you watch? I already know which ones I should watch. I have my favorites. <laughs> okay, you quiz. Question. The first question on this quiz is, do you support gay rights? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, uh, I found a, a quiz that looks like it was made in 2007. Okay. Okay, let's see. When faced with a tough decision, what do you do? Wait for someone's advice? Just decide? 
I'll pick randomly. I'll hold off on the decision till the deadline comes through. Think about the situation at hand. Every detail must be taken into account. I, 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 <laughs> I'd get someone ad someone's advice, I guess. <laughs> uh, when in a party, who are you most drawn to approach? A stranger that seems to be someone nice? Nobody! No, someone, someone I already know. No strangers. Oh no, not this question. <laughs> Among the whole life English members, who are you most drawn to? I'm... I just, I just... I don't want to like hurt any feelings or like... <laughs> this, this is an evil question. I... They're all great. Let me just say that they're all great. I have no qualms. But the one that I'm most drawn to is a secret. <laughs> it's a secret. Okay. When playing a video game, what do you take into account the most? Story, gameplay, multiplayer capability... Ah! <laughs> multiplayer capability is an immersion. Story! Of course. Do you consider yourself an emotional person? I'm... I'm very emotional. What is your type? What is your type in a person? Wait, I forgot to put it back on the screen. What is my type in a person? What people know as Sundere. A calm and collect person I can easily resonate with and talk to. Anyone? Anyone? I'm a person who mostly likes a person's physical appearance. Someone unique. That's that's very broad, just saying someone unique. Unique in what way? Just any kind of uniqueness? Like, are you attracted to, like, Guinness World Record... <laughs> ...breakers? Yeah, do they have a third eye? Ah, someone, someone unique. Unique up on them. I, I like, I like <laughs> Sundere's. If we're talking about like anime, did you hear that song? I sound like the Yuri Yuri song. Are you a determined person? Yes, I'm very determined. Well, not in every single occasion. <laughs> I'm not really determined to clean my desk right now. <coughs> uh, would you consider yourself a selfish person? Yes. <laughs> if you could change one aspect of your personality, what would... Why are so many of these quizzes, like... Reveal your deepest, darkest trauma and hang-ups? Ah, uh, I'm annoying. <laughs> I think it's I think it's that I'm annoying. I think like all of these apply. Do like people when they normally take these quizzes are they like oh there's there's just one of these. Out of all of these, I think like all of these apply. So I can't think about which one would apply the most because they're all like equally bad. Ah. Uh, do you explore different ideas in your head all the time? <coughs> I was... <laughs> I had a weird, like, half-awake, half-asleep thought in my bed earlier... ...about, like, paper plates, and I don't know where the thought was going. It was, like, some kind of contraption that you could make out of paper plates, and I can't... <laughs> I can't recall what the fuck I was thinking about and if it even made sense. Uh, what do people like most about you? What do they comp 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 <laughs> compliment about you? Uh, the fact that I'm mature. <laughs> I don't know. What is that, like, electrical inference noise? Uh... 
Uh, am I, I don't know, am I calm? I know I'm not mature. For sure, I'm not mature at all. Okay, I'll go with number one. I don't... I don't... I don't really see myself as unfadingly cheerful. <laughs> Cause it... It fades as soon as I turn the stream off. <laughs> I... I... I'm on the stream and I'm like, Hey everybody! And then I... I turn it off and I'm just like sitting there like... Sitting in the dark. I... I literally just sit here. For like minutes at a time. I turn off the stream and I just sit here and just like stare at the wall. <laughs> With like my eyes barely moving. <laughs> and then I like I get up and I'm like, okay, time to eat. And then I just like robotically eat at my desk and then I go to bed. <laughs> and then I have dreams about reality being better than it is right now. That's my joke for today. Let's see, which hole I've Oh I got one of my favorite girls! <laughs> one of my favorite Tubas. <laughs> I got I got Hato or Hatama. But I guess they're <laughs> cause Hato and Hatama are different entities now. <laughs> Doesn't this look like it was made in like 2007? Look at this web design. It's almost kind of wholesome. I got oh I love all of these. Minato and Takora. Man, VTubers are really nice. <laughs> There's so many of them. And I love a lot of them. Oh. So I guess I'll do this <laughs> really stupid MBTI test now. Here, you can take it with me. I'll link it in the chat. Oh fuck! I'm uh, I'm spamming my own I'm spamming my own chat. Oh somebody stop me! I'm too crazy. If I like VTuber so much, why don't I become one? You're right. I gotta I gotta turn in my 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 resume and take the next step. I need to go to the, the VTuber interview. Okay. First question. You regularly make new friends. <laughs> I can't pronounce words right now. I'm sorry. I'm a cold medicine. I mean, I wasn't... No, 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 no. I wasn't abusing cold medicine. I mean, I, I took cold medicine because I have a cold. And it's like... Necessary for me to have taken cold medicine. To heal my current affliction. I'm not taking it recreationally. I'm not making walkie slush right now. <laughs> I'm just... Oh. A little bit loopy. I'm addicted to cold syrup. <laughs> cold syrup. I regularly make new friends. I don't know. I don't... I wouldn't say regularly. You spend a lot of your free time exploring various random topics that pique your interest. Yeah! That's literally what I do. <coughs> Unlike most of my streams. Oh, hold on a second. It's time to put on the next video. Oh! Wait, I wanna... Wait, no, not this. No, no, not this. I, I fucked it up. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I fucked it up. I forgot the... Onsen video is the first one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, we're back. We're back. We're going in the hot spring zone. I'm pretty sure... I don't really recognize the name, but it looks familiar. But I'm pretty sure this is the hot spring that has like a... Really complex cooling system for the water. Because the water is too hot. And they gotta like cool it in a bunch of like wooden barrel things and then afterwards they collect the sediment from the water and they sell it as bath salt. It's too hot. Call the police and the fireman. 
Seeing other people cry can easily make you feel like you want to cry too. I wouldn't say easily. You have to make a backup plan for a backup plan, yeah. You usually stay calm even under a lot of pressure. No. <coughs> At social events, you really try to introduce yourself to new people and mostly talk to the ones you already know. This is solidifying me as an introvert. You prefer to completely finish one project before starting another? I mean, I prefer to! That doesn't mean that I can! I wonder how much, like, having... ...a broken brain is skewing the results of this test. <laughs> you are very sentimental. You like to use organizing tools like schedules and lists. Uh, I I like to. I like to. <laughs> Even a small mistake can cause you to doubt your overall abilities and not. You feel comfortable just walking up to someone you find interesting and striking up a conversation. Hell no. You are not interested in discussing various interpretations and analyses of creative works. Does this include video games? Then... No, disagree, cuz... I hate it when they're phrased like this! <laughs> they're trying to like, be like, gotcha, you weren't paying attention! <coughs> uh, uh, you're more inclined to follow your head than your heart. Disagree. You usually prefer just doing what you feel like at any given moment instead of planning a particular daily routine. These questions are hard! These questions are really hard! Cause... I... <coughs> I actually... <coughs> I thrive with routines. I love having routines. I have a routine for when I wake up and what I eat for breakfast and like... My day is blocked out with like streaming time, eating time, uh, other work time, getting ready for bedtime, getting ready to fall asleep time, and then sleep time. <coughs> I'm so sorry. It's, it's hard because I, I don't know what to say. Because the question is not phrased, like, specifically enough for me to know. <coughs> like, exactly what it's asking. Does it want me to answer, like, how I am normally or, like, how I am usually because I can't... <laughs> It's hard to, like, stick to a routine when you're, like, frazzled and busy and overwhelmed all the time. Ah, uh, I like routines. I don't like strict routines. Like, I like to do what I want sometimes, but it feels better to be in a routine. You really worry about whether you make a good impression on people you meet. <laughs> It's really funny when I go back and watch like the part of the VOD where I did the collab for the first time with like Mousy and Melody and Silver, people who are all like really good friends now. When I go back and I watch that, I was so nervous and terrified. And I remember like literally shaking before I talked to them. I was having such a hard time. And now it's like, I'm still nervous when I talk to them and when I collab with them because it just takes me a really long time to get used to people in general and like open up and feel comfortable. I'm just like a nervous little chihuahua that needs to be babied. But now we're like, we've done so much stuff together and like talked so much. So when I look back at that, it's like, Peering into like a parallel world or something. 
something I was kind of thinking about, and I was struggling with how to verbalize this in a way that wouldn't sound like... I, I never want to sound like I'm like... <coughs> patting myself on my own ass. And, or like saying something rude. I'm always worried of saying something the wrong way, because I always say something the wrong way, because I'm not really good at talking. Especially when I'm just like talking, talking, and I'm like... Not writing stuff out. Or like having... Notes or something. <coughs> I always, like, put my... Put my foot in my mouth. And it's not fun. As much as I love having feet in my mouth, I don't like my own feet in my mouth. But anyway, I... Had this thought last night. And I'm struggling with how to put it into words. I really am. But like... And I know it's cringe to use like video game comparisons. And I always end up doing it because... Because <laughs> I'm just... My brain... My brain is video game. But I was thinking last night about how, you know how in Karamari Damachi where you start out really small and you're, you're, the ball that you're rolling around is really small and you're picking up all these objects that like like to other people from another perspective they're, they're small small, small objects like small accomplishments and you're rolling all these things up, and it seems so hard at first because the, the controls are kind of wacky and wonky. It's hard to, like, aim at stuff and capture stuff. And you, like, you get bigger, and the... And, and it feels easier, like, you, you start getting bigger, and you start, like, rolling and rolling and rolling down the street and picking up larger and larger things and before you know it you're picking up like vending machines and like park benches and then you look back and go back to the area where you started and it's like it's like you see like the the erasers and the pencils and the like little thumbtacks or whatever and they, they look so tiny like from this perspective they look so small but when you think back, like, those things were, like, things that you struggled to pick up before. But then you look forward, and it's, like... You see all the, like, other, like, impossibly huge things that you feel like you're never gonna, like, pick up. You're never gonna get your ball big enough... ...to go pick up the stuff. But I feel- I feel like the developers of the game definitely intended it to be read in that sort of way, like... Cause it's a very, like... <laughs> oddly introspective kind of game. I just mean, like... It's- it's weird to start out in, like, a small way. And be used to that small, and then suddenly, like, you picked up so much stuff, you didn't even realize how fast you were picking up stuff, and your ball just got larger and larger. And you look back and see the small stuff, and you look forward and see, like, really big, scary stuff, and it feels like you're just, like, on this, like, train that just won't stop going. But I love Katamari Damachi. <laughs> the fun game, even though I really, really hate the... Some of the levels are so annoying. Like the one where you have to catch only bears. And if you hit anything that isn't a bear, you, you explode and you have to start over. <coughs> yeah, I want to be... Rolled up in a big ball. And rolled down the street. And become like an amalgamation of various objects and... Land masses and buildings. Only bear, just the bear. Maybe that can happen. Wait, I just, I forgot I was taking this quiz. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Only bears. I, 
I do enjoy it, but I don't prefer participating in group activities. You like books and movies that make you come up with your own interpretation of the ending. I don't know if I, like, particularly like them. Your happiness comes more from helping others accomplish things than your own accomplishments. Hmm. My own accomplishments, accomplishments make me happy for sure, but... But... I don't feel guilty for helping other people accomplish things, so... I'm gonna have to say, the happiness is more on the other side. You're interested in so many things that you find it difficult to choose what to try next. Ah... Yeah. Like, I don't... I might be back tomorrow to stream, and I said I was gonna do like a community chosen game. Cause I have no idea, I need to pick another game to try, and I don't know if it'll become like part of my regularly scheduled content, but just like... Every now and then just throw a new game into the mix, try something new. Maybe try something that I haven't played in a while and I'm picking it up again, I don't know. <sighs> Kanamaya would be cute. I wanna like, take suggestions and make a pool out of it and then... Go, go hog wild! I... I kinda wanna play the Idol Master game for the PlayStation 4. I almost said PlayStation! <laughs> Uh, <coughs> my throat is really dry. I'm prone to worrying. You avoid leadership roles in group settings. You're definitely not an artistic person. You think the world would be a better place if people relied more on rationality and less on their feelings? I mean, feelings... Feelings are good, but I guess feelings can complement com complicate things sometimes. I think it's good to have like both, but I don't like it when people like demonize feelings as if it's like you should always be a hundred percent logical and if you turn to feelings rather than logic you're weakling and a failure. I don't think that's a good way to think. It's not healthy. You prefer to do your chores before allowing yourself to relax. Yeah. You know what my favorite thing to do is? I love to... I love, like, working really hard and doing a bunch of chores and then having, like, a reward for myself afterwards, like... It could be just, like, a meal or, like, a dessert or, uh... Just, like, a, a situation, like, maybe... I'm gonna sit down and eat uh, delicious cookies and watch an episode of my favorite anime or I'm gonna sit down and level gather in Final Fantasy XIV and turn my brain off for like two hours. It feels good that way. It feels better to eat something <laughs> that feels like I earned. I think I'm like, I definitely am a trained animal. I'm gonna start drooling if you ring a bell. You enjoy watching people argue? No! You tend to avoid drawing attention to yourself. Sometimes I go a little wacky. And I, I feel like... Jim Carrey when he puts the mask on. And has to go do his like conga dance. <laughs> Your mood can change very quickly. I feel like my mood is like a... A straight line at all times. <laughs> it, feels, it feels like it's always like in crying and laughing territory. <laughs> I don't know. They call him Cuban Pete. <gasps> I have to pee absurdly bad. Oh my god. You lose patience with people who are not as efficient as you. <laughs> I guess I... Some... In some small circumstances when people are like doing something like they could be a little more organized and efficient and it can cause some complications. I... I can be a little impatient but I don't know if I would lose patience entirely. 
I'll, I'll just put it right here. You often end up doing things at the last possible moment, yeah. You have always been fascinated by the- What the- I think- I think most people are fascinated with that because it's something that like literally everyone deals with except for me because I'm immortal. You usually prefer to be around others rather than on your own. are so hard. <laughs> I I like being around friends, but I also really like being alone. I'll just go I'll go there. Sometimes sometimes you become bored or lose interest when the discussion gets highly theoretical. Dis disagree. I come up with theoretical situations all the time that I can talk about for like an hour to all of you and torture you with them. <laughs> Theoretically speaking, if, if you had big mommy milkers and you took the big mommy milkers out of your shirt, could you, uh, theoretically, uh, technically speaking, give me a little suckle of your big mommy milkers milk? Please god, I need this. Thank you, thank you, Mar Marlo, Marlo Raku, for those bits. Thank you so much. Ah, <laughs> uh, you find it easy to empathize with a person whose experiences are very different than yours. Uh, you usually postpone finalizing decisions for as long as Buba. Ar, 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 Ar Kata? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for gifting those songs. Oh no, my cat is crying. I don't know why she's crying. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I I still have no idea how to play Dungeons and Dragons. But I'll try my best. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for gifting those songs. That's really nice of you. <laughs> Uh, you usually postpone finalizing decisions for as long as possible. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, my lord. <laughs> he just- he just dropped them. Oh, he's here! <laughs> I just imagined him, like, dropping that and then, like, swishes- swishing his cloak and leaving. Just, like, jumping away into the trees. In front of the full moon. You you, <laughs> you really second guess the choices that you have made. Disagree. After a long and exhausting week, a lively social event is just what you need. You enjoy going to art museums. Yeah. You often have a hard time understanding other people's feelings. Not often. You like to have a to-do list for each day. You rarely feel insecure. <laughs> You avoid making phone calls. <laughs> this... I feel like I'm being, like, f flagellated right now. I feel like I'm in, like, the fucking city square. In a pillory. I have my hands locked in the pillory and everyone is crowded around in a circle around me. Like, screaming at me and, like, throwing tomatoes at my face. <laughs> Be gone with you! Filthy rat! <laughs> oh! Chrono! Chrono Brock! Oh my god, thank you! Thank you, Chrono! Thank you for lifting all those subs, holy crap! Thank you, thank you! Thank you, thank you! Hi, Bunny! Yeah, I'm taking the, the MBTI test, because I was curious. Bunny is very cute. Check out her streams. I love your, uh, your new... Your new face animation is really cute. Oh, seven... Seven... Extra seven, thank you. Thank you for seven... Seven subs. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Ah. Uh, you often spend a lot of time trying to understand views that are very different from your own. 
I don't know if I spend a lot of time. I mean, the first thing that comes to mind when I read this is thinking like all the bizarre, weird, like deviant art fetishes that I've tried to understand. <laughs> like, I will discover something through some means. Oh my goodness! Oh! oh! Holy shit! Baby! <laughs> Baby! <laughs> Thank you, Alessi Davos. Thank you so much. Thank you. Holy crap. 50. Jesus. And there was just like a big like sub explosion just like last week. <laughs> ah. That's a that's a lot of subs. Thank you so so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'm sorry, you you did this like incredibly generous and nice thing right after I started talking about DeviantArt fetishes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, 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 I was saying that like the the DeviantArt stuff. It's like I don't want to yuck anybody's yum. I don't want to come here and be like, you're weird, because like. There's a lot of weird stuff that I'm into, and I'm sure all of you know. And no, it's not piss. <laughs> it's not piss. But like, when I just... I'll discover something! That is like a fetish drawing, and I just... There's so many things that I can't wrap my head around. I don't like understand. There's some that I've like grown to understand, like balloon and inflatable fetish. I can understand that now. But there's so many things that... <laughs> I discovered this picture and it was like... It seemed like it was like a... Like a horse girl. But it's not... It's like if a girl was transforming into a horse and like mid-transformation it stopped and she was stuck like that. And it's just like... A regular woman with like flesh, no like fur or anything, or like a mane or anything. And like, has like the, almost the body of a horse and like hooves and... <laughs> and the face that's just like a regular woman's face, but it's like morphed into the shape of a horse's mouth. It's really scary. It's... I'm honestly not bothered by much. But when I saw that, I, I knew true fear. And I I don't remember what... Yeah, it's not a centaur. It's just... It's it's a completely different thing. It had its own tag, like, on Pixiv. I don't remember what it was called. Because there was a bunch by, like, a bunch of different artists drawing these, like, fucked up... Abomination horse girls. It's horrible. It was really horrible. And like... Yeah, it looked like a bloodborne enemy. Except not covered in... Blood. It's... <laughs> no, it wasn't... They weren't like doing anything sexual either. Like they were just like... In normal situations. Like they just suddenly got transformed into a horse and somehow... This transformation failed. <laughs> Queen Stally! That, that, that's the name of it! That's the name of it! Qu Hold on, I'm gonna look this up. Queen Stallions. I hope this isn't showing on screen. I will cry. <laughs> what is this? And they always have like big puckered up lips that look like they were stung by a bee. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, that's a, that's enough of that. I can't I can't look I can't look at it. It's horrible. Yeah, the kid, the kid crying in the that was me when I discovered the Queen Stallion. <clears throat> Are those really called Dorses? 
like a D-horse. <laughs> I don't want to kink shame, like if there's anyone that like possibly who is into that. It's really fucking scary and I don't understand it, but like you do you, my friend. <laughs> if you like girls who are like trying to transform into a horse and their like mouths are all fucked up. Then that's your prerogative. Like that Britney Spears song, My Prerogative. My pierogi. <laughs> In your social circle, you are often the one who contacts your friends and initi- No! I'm not the initiator! If your plans are interrupted, your top priority is to get back on track as soon as possible. Yeah. You are still bothered by mistakes that you made a long time ago! <laughs> you really contemplate the reasons for human existence or the meaning of life. I lay awake at night thinking about... Like, this big... Codex list dictionary of every single thing I've ever done wrong and every embarrassing thing I've ever done. It plays on loop until I can finally struggle myself away into sleep. Your emotions control you more than you control them. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, slight agree. You take great care not to make people look bad, even when it is completely their fault. <laughs> I don't wanna... I don't wanna make people look bad. I'm thinking very strongly about this. Your personal work style is closer to spontaneous bursts of energy. Yeah. When someone thinks highly of you, you wonder how long it will take them to feel disappointed. <laughs> I don't- I don't know what I was expecting. This is the dead dove in a bag of personality test. I was like, Oh, this one will be fun! This one- will will be a silly little, like, teen girl magazine quiz. Where you find out which One Direction member is gonna come to your house and, uh, adopt you. <laughs> oh, is it gonna be Adam? Uh, is it- it's gonna be Jonathan? Take- take the test and find out! When someone thinks highly of you, you wonder how long it will take them to feel disappointed in you. Every day of my life. <laughs> Every single day! I'm like... Wow, like the more people think highly of me, and the more, like, they like me, or like anything that I do, or like... Uh... Think I'm cool in any way. The more that I think that I'm being built up so high that the fall down is going to hurt very bad. <laughs> like, the, the more people, the higher people's expectations are, the like harder they can be let down. I think like every day about like, like one day, like everyone's gonna be gone. That's just like a fact. Like... It could be tomorrow, it could be a week, it could be in a month, or years. And people say like, no, not me. But it's like, everyone has lives. Everyone like... Everyone... <laughs> Maybe you, you got other stuff to do and you don't want to like, watch cat girls on the internet. That's, that's your pierogi. Is there a cat in the video? <laughs> but... Like, I don't- I won't blame people for not being here anymore, cause like, things change and like, the world moves on. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to end the world. Yeah, in like, a year or like, maybe even months or weeks, there's gonna be a doors girl. <laughs> And I won't be able to stream anymore because I'll be too busy watching the Doris Girl. So you won't see me anymore. <laughs> it's so... It's so scary though. Like, I don't know how to like put it into words. Like, this feeling of like... 
Wow, things are going so well right now, but it just feels like the more good they are, the worse they will be when they're bad. And... I'm on a train that just keeps going and won't stop, but pretty soon... It'll get to the station and I'll have to get off and walk alone. Like in the Boulevard of Broken Dreams by, by Green Days. <laughs> Thank you. Leon2142! For, for 50 little subs! <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Uh... Well, I didn't mean to sound like a doomer, I just like... It's just... With anything in life... Life is all about change and like, things moving forward, whether you like it or not. <coughs> ah. I'm not... <laughs> I'm not trying to be a doomer, I thought that was like an optimistic way of thinking, like... Instead of being like, things are gonna change and like, things will be different someday. So I might as well not try. It's more like, it's gonna, it's gonna happen so I might as well accept it and like, enjoy the time that I have right now. <laughs> Cause I, I wanna enjoy it as much as I can and I feel guilty for being like, getting so anxious and stressed all the time cause I'm not used to... People acknowledging my existence and like perceiving me like this. <laughs> so I feel guilty getting hung up on that instead of just having fun and going with the flow. And yo YOLO. <laughs> Don't forget me, okay? <laughs> you believe that pondering abstract philosophical class philosophical? <laughs> I sound like I'm reading a fucking Dr. Seuss book. You believe that pondering abstract philosophical questions is a waste of time? To be or not to be, that is the question. Falafel. You feel more drawn to places with busy, bustling atmospheres than quiet, intimate places. Bustling stuff is nice, but I also... I prefer just... quiet. What? S sneeze? <laughs> By the way, I sneezed when I woke up again. Actually, the last time I sneezed was when I went to sleep, and then I sneezed and I woke up. I opened my eyes, and it was just like... My nose activated... And went... <laughs> And I was so sad, no one was there to capture it. I need like, I need to get one of those paranormal activity cameras. So I can capture every single time that I sneeze in my sleep. Can you sneeze in your sleep? Can you? Can you sneeze in your sleep? Sneezing during sleep does not seem possible, but sometimes a strong urge may wake you up from NREM sleep and make you sneeze. Generally speaking, sneezing can only occur when you're awake. Huh. That's really bizarre. <laughs> Thank you, Electric Pickle! You got... You got INFPT just like Uncle, is it Iro or Iro? The last time I said his name, everyone freaked out and got mad. How dare you! <laughs> I just thought it was Iro because it's like... The, the show takes place in like an Asian setting and a lot of them have like Japanese sounding names. So I just pronounced it in the, the Japanese way. Iro. This is like diff and gif all over again. The last time I watched Avatar was like over 10 years ago. I don't remember how to pronounce 
any of their names. There's a... There's the Avatar. <laughs> and then there's... <laughs> Catalina. <laughs> and Cowboy Bebop. There's Tuff. I like Tuff. She's cute. Wait, remaking the business knife? No, I don't think I saw that. <laughs> huh? Cowboy Bebop on his computer, yes. You know, at first glance, how someone is feeling. I don't know about first glance. Ah, it's almost. It's almost done! 90%! See? Um, you often feel overwhelmed. You complete things methodically without skipping over any steps. <laughs> you are very intrigued by things labeled as controversial. You would pass along a good opportunity if you thought someone else needed it more. You struggle with deadlines. You feel confident that things will work out for you. Well, this is optional. What are- Okay, I'm gonna hide my results because I want them to be a secret. Wait, just for a moment. God damn it, I got to- <laughs> I wanted to see if it changed at all, but I got the same thing. Wait, what does the T stand for again? Wait! Wait, we're both just like Uncle Iroh Iroh. I- Maybe that anime character quest- uh, Quiz was right. The one from from the other day. Maybe it was right. Mind? I'm 18% extroverted. My energy is intuitive. My nature is feeling. My tactics are prospecting. My identity is turbulent. <laughs> If I- I want to take this quiz, quiz in a year from now and see that T turn into an A. I'm gonna turn that fucking T into an A. I need it to be. I don't want a copy of the results. I don't- get them away from me. Wait, let's see. It's Frodo! Frodo Baggins! Do you hear that? Do you hear that sick beat? Totally tubular! Speaking their truth. In search of a calling. Okay, what? What? <laughs> Is this... <laughs> I'm like, William Shakespeare, Tolkien, Bjork, and Alicia Keys? How do they know? Do these people take the test? Did they get Shakespeare to take the test? <laughs> Did they? Julia Roberts, William Wordsworth, Johnny Depp, Frodo Baggins, Amelie. That's um, Amelie. Um, um, Amelie. The only thing I remember from that movie is my parents were watching it and it got to this part where. Like, I walked into the living room, and it was this part in the movie where she's like, Hmm, I wonder how many people in France are orgasming right now? And then it cuts to, like, this fucking super cut highlight reel of several different people having an orgasm really loudly. And I was just standing there, dumbfounded, in the middle of the living room. Like, I was like... I think I was like... Seven or six or something? Just like staring at this feeling like intense dread. And then I, I swore off ever watching that movie just because of that traumatic experience. <laughs> How is that friends? <laughs> Can you describe to me why that's friends? Arwen! I love Arwen! She's so pretty in the the movie. Fox Mulder? Fox Mulder is a cool guy. 
N of Green Gables? Sybil from down Downtown Abbey? I always thought that said Downtown Abbey and I would always get so confused. I've never seen that show. I've heard it's good though. It's like a it's a it's a British people show. Land sweets. Who <laughs> <laughs> is this a real character? I feel like a lot of these I just made up. I think it would be really funny to like copy the entire... He's talking to someone. Yeah. He had a, a nice little chat with a nice old man. I was just gonna say, it'd be funny to copy the code from this test and remake it, but then just like at the end be like, here are the characters that you're like, and just like draw random things that look like they could be real and give them like <laughs> random names like <laughs> Gloopy Bugglesworth or something. <laughs> I took a personality test and said I'm just like Gloopy Bugglesworth. Who the fuck is Lance Sweets? That's so made up! Constantine Levin. Anna... Anna Karnina. Ah. Oh. What are my strengths and weaknesses? I don't... I don't... I'm... I'm in sh ashamed! I don't wanna show you! Oh yeah, I'm very... I'm very sexy. I'm very cool. <laughs> Romantic relationships? What is all this information? Hopelessly devoted. Oh. Hopelessly devoted to you. Ooh. I want to know. Yeah, career paths. Let's see. What? Playwrights, composers, and choreographers. I'm very sensitive to artistic beauty. <laughs> I'm pretty much a connoisseur. If you ever, if you go to uh, an art gallery, bring me along as your assistant so I may teach you about the merits of all types of art and explain their artness to you. Toilets are art, they're sculptures. Dun, 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 dun. In conclusion, I'm a piece of shit. <laughs> oh, there's like 20 minutes left. Do you want to do like a, a click? AI dungeon or something? I- I thought- <laughs> I had a thought and I was like, there's no way he would be doing this, but it sounded exactly like he just like unzipped his fly and started pissing into the water. <laughs> Cause I wasn't looking at the video. AI dungeon. AI dungeon. Start adventure. I want to do fantasy. I want to live out a fantasy. And... Wait, how do you do like a custom? Do a game. World. How... Ah! How do I start with like a custom prompt? Start adventure. Custom. Here we go. Custom. Custom. Okay, look. <laughs> I have to move myself, I'm sorry. Okay. Enter a prompt that describes who you are in the first couple sentences of where you start out. Okay. What should we do? You...
You are a very sexy uh toilet <laughs> no female <laughs> You are a very sexy horse girl who is looking for a special toilet to suit your needs. You you live in <laughs> Italy. Fuck you. Fuck you. How do I... How do I fucking... Log in? Okay, enter. Continue game. Okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> My account is literally pee pee poo poo one. I don't even remember what I was gonna put in. You... You are... Motherfucker. You... Are a very... Sexy horse girl. <laughs> Who is looking for a... Special... Toilet to... Suit your needs. You... You live in Italy. Every day you wake up screaming. I don't even know what email I signed up with. What email did I use? Settings. Oh no, I put in like a completely like fake email. What did I do? Wait. Okay, I'm putting in my email. Now there's that visual. <laughs> this fucking thing. Okay, verify email. Send the email. There was a site I used to use for like throwaway stuff all the time, but it like it disappeared. Oh no, my my public business email has been leaked. Okay. I'm verifying. My email has been successfully verified. Okay, let's go! We got like 15 minutes left in the stream, but let's go! You are a very sexy horse girl. Shit. You are a very sexy horse girl. You are... Looking for a special toilet to suit your needs. You live in... Italy. Every day you wake up screaming. Okay, let's see where this takes us. <laughs> Every night you sleep and dream of the most horrible things. One day you will find what is causing this madness. Uh... You wake up. <laughs> The next morning, you get out of bed and look at yourself in the mirror. You are still naked, but now you have on some new clothes that were given to you by your family. You realize... You must have... 
transformed into a horse girl. <laughs> now you have a new realization. You are a horse girl. In a few hours, you must be leaving with the rest of the horses to become a mare. What does that mean? Uh, wonder if my new horse family is the entire one wait not wonder i want this to be true <coughs> realize that my new horse family that is taking care of me is the entirety of one direction but they're all horses now <gasps> it felt like someone was laughing at me and that made me really scared You <laughs> You look around the ranch, all the males are now horses except for Zane, who is still a small black dog. <laughs> the females are all mares. Say, wow, I can't believe I get to live with one direction as a big happy horse family now. And clop your hooves happily. You are soon put into your new routine. You must rise at dawn, graze all day, eat hay at night, drink from the stream, and rest. The ranch hands are kind enough to teach you some things. Go talk to horse Harry Styles. Hello, my name is Horse Harry. You approach the horse so you can get a better look. He has a large brown forelock that covers his eyes. It's lovely to meet you, Horse Harry. Ask Horse Harry if... Uh... <laughs> if he's a member of Horse Direction. I am indeed. Now please don't think the worst of me. But why are you so interested in joining us? You trot over to a tree and sit down. It's a long story. Say... You see... I've... I've been looking all this time for a toilet to suit my needs. Do you think you could help me find it? Horses do sit! They do sit! Horse Harry stands up and walks away. He stops next to a large stallion who looks similar to him and begins to talk quietly to him. The large horse nods a few times and they both walk over to you. What? He was talking to the horse elder! Ask them what they were talking about over there. It's nothing to do with you, horse girl. They approach you and one of them begins to speak. Uh... Say... Hey, what's all the commotion? <laughs> this is our leader, King, and his second-in-command, Serge Dancer. It seems you have a lot in common with us. What do you think of horse girls? Say, uh, I am a horse girl and I, I don't really fit in because I haven't been one for long. So I'm hoping I could learn how to be a horse girl and use the toilet optimally. Interesting. So can you teach me horse girl? No, you hear a stomp overhead. It must be the king. Uh... Get on all fours and genuflect to the horse king and start crying and begging for forgiveness. What is genuflect? It's when you, when you bow like all the way down. 
The king and sergeant dancers stay silent as a stream of piss hits the girl. <laughs> a bucket to capture the piss so it doesn't hit the ground. You start to panic and look around for anywhere to put the piss, but you panic a bit more when King begins to laugh at you. Ha! Huh? This is... Why is this turning into like a humiliation fetish thing? <laughs> what is this? I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna drink the piss. I'm not- I'm gonna- I have to find out some kind of way to get rid of this piss. Um... Okay. Uh... Calm down and steal my nerves. And... Start... <laughs> start building a perpetual motion device that is powered Purely by piss running down tubes and use this to get rid of the piss. You build a device for hours and it works well until Horse Ho Harry comes back and destroys it. <laughs> See? Dude, what the hell? I, I worked on that shit for hours! I worked on that shit for hours! Why did you do that, Horse Harry? What the f- Because Horse Harry doesn't like your art. Now get the fuck out of here! <laughs> you are too distraught to say anything else and walk away in shame. Decide to leave the, the horse direction colony and... <laughs> Run away to to become an artist who makes a perpetual motion piss device sculptures for a living. You become a starving artist living in a small shithole. Uh, years pass and I look at my uh phone book and see horse Harry's number and feel a pang of sadness. I should apologize and <laughs> improve myself as a horse girl. You dial the number and hear a busy signal. Must be out. Feeling a bit better, you take a deep breath and turn off your phone. Wait, how can a horse answer a phone? Do they pick it up with the, their horse mouth or do they use their hoof? <laughs> why, why, why is horse direction so mean? Wonder how I can get horse direction family to accept me. You go to the local university and look up Horse Harry in the directory. You find the correct building and take a deep breath and go in. The Royal Horse Direction family accepts new members by the basin. What does that mean? Oh! A knock on the door of the Horse Direction family and... Offer my piss handling techniques as a service. You knock on the heavy wooden door and hear a heavy slow paced. Who is it? Uh, it's the soiled harvester. Say, I have come to dispatch of your, your evil liquids. The door slowly opens and you are met by a girl who looks about your age. Wow, it's another horse girl. And she's so pretty. You well? 
You both look at each other for a second. So what can I do for you? I'm looking for horse Harry. I heard he trained people on how to better handle horse excrements. <laughs> Say, please, I need to get in touch with Horse Harry. I don't know what to do with all of this piss. <laughs> hmm, you want to join the Horse family? Yes, please, I need a lot of help. My house is a shitty... What is that character? I can't cook and I have no talent for gardening. Uh... Get on hands and knees and beg to join. <laughs> well, you seem like a genuinely nice girl who wants to do right, but I really don't think my father will take... Is Horace Harry her father? This is Horace Harry's daughter? Start crying and begging and saying I'll do anything to join. Anything at all. All right, all right, you win. Go inside and wait. He's in the library. You enter the library, which looks like a small mansion. You hey, see a horse. I think your dick is dirty. <laughs> Try ending the game and Say. cleaning your dick. Hey, I think your dick is dirty. Try ending the game and cleaning your. Dr. Pickle for the big donation and also the reminder. I got I got really absorbed into the story. I'm sorry. Weren't, weren't you also like I wonder where this is gonna go? How do I how do I save like my progress? Does it just automatically automatically do that? Well, Horse adventures will continue, maybe, maybe tomorrow. We'll see how I'm feeling. I might end up just taking tomorrow off. Cause I really need to seriously... Get serious, seriously get serious about recovering so I can... Not hold myself back from doing a lot of things that I need to do. Ah... Uh, so, is Ray still on? Eeyo... I hope- I hope the stream today was fun. I'm sorry if it was kind of boring. I just didn't have the brain capacity to do epic gamer moments. Um... Rain, rain, rain. She's- She's on? Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh... I gotta end the stream now. I'll see you on the other side. I'll maybe see you tomorrow. If I'm not streaming, I'll let you know on Twitter. And if I am streaming, I'll let you know on Twitter. So make sure you're following me on there. Um, thank you, everybody. Have a nice rest of your day. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention. Uh, you can see me later tonight on Mousy's stream. I'm going to take a little bit of a break and get some food and uh, more cold medicine, I guess. And I'll be on Mousy's stream. I'm just gonna do some very casual, relaxed, Dark Soul, jolly cooperation. And it's it's a lot easier to like play games off stream, even if like I'm on someone else's stream. If the focus isn't on me, I'm like I'm golden. That's comfy. <laughs> Cause then people don't have a laser focus on all of my mistakes. But yeah, uh, I'll see you there. And I'll like, I'll let you know on Twitter and Discord and stuff when her stream starts and I'm in there playing with her. But, yeah, see you possibly tomorrow. If I don't see you tomorrow, I'll see you Tuesday. Thank you so much for being so kind to me and so patient. And I really hope I can get well soon. I'm so tired of having this cold. It's really been such a huge pain in the ass in several ways. Thank you so much, everybody. Uh, I'll see you when I see you. But thank you so much for tuning in and for supporting me. 
Thank you, thank you, thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Vix, baby, baby. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody.